Uh, laughter band. Dear Billy Boo. Well, people are going to call me Billy Boo Hoo. The amount I'm going off on cyclists. Um, dear Billy Boo. I like Bill, Billy Boo Hoo. A few months ago, a reader wrote into the podcast about censorship and some crazy stuff that was happening at their kid's school. Last week, I got a letter from my kid's school. It was basically an outline of what kids and parents should expect going into the new school year. All right. Tucked away in the middle of the COVID protocol and exciting school activities was some new guidelines on joke making. It essentially says that kids are not to make any jokes and parents should instruct children not to provoke laughter. Oh, my God. Do you see what happens? Do you see what happens when unfunny people get a voice on social media? Wow, they're going to get rid of class clowns. I thought that this was maybe some bullying related stuff and wrote it off. Later in the week, I ran to my neighbor who has a kid in the same school system. He's a real nice guy and loaded and does a lot of volunteering in town, i.e. organizing leagues and raising money for families who need help. Real salt of the earth. He tells me that he ran into the principal at a recent outdoor event and asked about the bullying clause in the email. Specifically, if this was provoked by any serious bullying of a child. The principal proceeded to tell him that laughter had nothing to do with education and jokes of all types were offensive. This sounds like a bad movie. My neighbor asked if knock-knock jokes were okay and he said absolutely not. He, he went even further to say that teachers were instructed to discipline any child who was laughing or being silly. This is great. I mean, they are, they are creating the incubator for the next generation of comedians, possibly the greatest comedians of all time. Um, I had a hard time believing this, so I did some, something I've never done nor thought I'd ever do. I called the school and talked to the principal. I had to know for myself This sounds like clickbait. After a few questions about what prompted the no jokes allowed policy, he accused me of being an educational detractor who was promoting archaic tendencies in my own children. What was your response? Ooh, big words. I wear a tie Uh, because he said this to him. He said, because I said that laughter is an important part of life. Even then quickly chained. He then quickly changed the subject and asked what my political affiliation was. I said, what? Oh, in a high screeching voice. What? Like you would say, playoffs. He responded to my what by saying he had the ability to contact child services if he felt any child was in danger of mental abuse. Wow. Yeah. This guy's handling his position of power really well. Needless to say, my blood was boiling and I hung up the phone. I have a few ideas about how to handle this. I don't want to stir things up, but also it seems unwise to let someone threaten me with child services and call me archaic for wanting my son to be able to laugh and not be a drone while in school. How would you handle this? Um, all right. How would I handle this? Uh... I don't know. How do you handle this? How 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 do you do this now with like all of these fucking people out there that just ruin all of this shit? I don't know. I mean, you can't get your kid kicked out of school. I mean, this sounds like a, a great clickbait piece for uh, a newspaper or something, but that always seems like a bitchy move to me to just fucking rat somebody out like that um i don't know you know what i would actually do i think i might go above the guy's head and just say that i was simply i think you have somebody who's wildly out of control with his own power i simply asked what you know why my kid couldn't laugh in school and he threatened to call child protective services First of all, dude, I I wouldn't, I mean, it's, the only thing that should make you mad is the threat of that, that that he actually is just threatening you. But what are they going to do? 
they're not going to do anything. They can't take your kids away because you questioned why my son can't laugh at school. He's going to have no bruises or anything like that. But it's, that's, that is a full-on fucking crazy person. Is this real? Are you, just, are you just trolling me? I can't believe this is true. If this is, if this is a joke that's really well written. I got to look it up. All right. I'm ta- I'm, you fished me. I'm, I'm fucking taking the bait here. Laughter ban in schools. Speech code of the month. Drexel University's harassment policy bans inconsiderate jokes and inappropriately, Jesus Christ, I'm done, inappropriately directed laughter. (laughs) Wow. Wow. Mom, I got suspended for three days for inappropriately directed laughter. But where were you directing this inappropriate laughter? I don't know. I turned my head in the face of the janitor. I was looking away from the fat kid, and it turns out he was missing a leg. I, it was, I was trapped in a triangle. Um, Tajanika laughter epidemic. What is this? The tan... tan- Tanganyika laughter epidemic of 1962 was an outbreak of mass hysteria. I'm on Wikipedia now. Or mass psychogenic illness. Rumored to have occurred in or near the village of Kashasha. Nothing I've read in the last 20 minutes has seemed real. On the western coast of Lake Victoria in Tanganyika which was once united with Zanzibar. This is, none of this is true. Became the modern nation of Tanzania, near the border of Uganda. History, the laughter epidemic of, what do they have, rabies? On January 31st, 1962, at a mission-run boarding school for girls in Kashashashasha. It started with three girls and spread throughout the school, affecting 95 of the 159 pupils. Uh, it's, it's the laughter epidemic, obviously a... a slang for whatever disease they had symptoms lasted from a few hours to 16 days the teaching staff were unaffected and reported that students were unable to concentrate on their lessons the schools closed on march 18th the epidemic spread to somewhere else the village where several women lived mostly young villagers had laughing attacks all right what happened did somebody light a giant fucking bong and the cloud went over the over the this True or false? Here we go. Laughing epidemic. True or false? It was no joke. The 1962 laughter epidemic was no joke, according to some stupid website. The Chicago Tribune. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I, this is the fucking internet. I, I don't believe anything on the fucking internet anymore. I just, I just don't. I, I'm not going to fucking sit here wasting my time looking up the laughter epidemic. Did it happen? Did it not happen? Um, what would I do with that guy? Um, well, in a perfect world, you could walk up to him and be like, hey, fatso, or whatever the fuck he looks like. Hey, baldy. You know, I would, I would approach the guy and just be like, you know something? You threatened to call child services you know, I, I got to be honest with you, dude. I, I, I never do this. I would go above that guy's head. And I would, I would file a complaint. And what's the worst that's going to happen? Your kid can't go to that fucking school? Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. If this is actually real, fuck that guy. I would go above the guy's head and just say, you know, in a very calm way. You know, I mean, that person should not have that job nor should they ever have any power. Um, I'm trying to think what happened to that person as a kid. You know what I mean? They had man boobs. It was shirts and skins and gym class. And they made him take his shirt off. Some sort of, uh, 
What was that 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 movie where they dumped the blood over the uh, the prom queen? Carrie. This guy had some Carrie shit happen to him. So now your kid can't have any joy. Um, yeah, I would go over his head. That's what the fuck I would do. I would I would not tolerate that. Um. Oh man, that reminds me of a landlord of mine that helped break into my apartment when I was on the road. They they were checking the smoke detectors and I was on the road for three weeks. So they had the, evidently the right to go into my apartment to make sure that there was no, uh, you know, there was nothing wrong with this, the, you know, the smoke detectors working because if they weren't, there was a fire that could affect the whole building. So under that, they came in and uh, I remember I came into my apartment and I just felt like something was wrong because it was a notice, but I just felt, and I just started looking around and uh, they had stolen a camera they had picked through my CDs. They took, took some knick-knack shit, and I went downstairs and told the guy. And the guy immediately goes, you know, I don't appreciate you coming down here accusing my staff of that. He immediately got defensive, and I was just like, you fucking idiot. Now I know you did it. But there was really nothing I could do. I called the cops, and they said, well, unless you have, like, you know, they dusted for fingerprints or whatever, they, there's nothing they could do. And uh, so I just stood down there in front of the office and just told a few people not to rent from there that's all i had i was like dude i'm a comedian i can do this all day and the reality was i had to go on the road the next day so my fuck you to them was i changed the locks and then i moved out 